Hi, it's Jan with more moments from the mountain, from deepest, darkest, rustic Tuscany. This week, I am bringing you my sick bed knitting. I've been ill in bed, my side project from the sick bed, and also a reveal of my Fair Isle woolly pulley that I knitted some months back, but it's the first time I've worn it. Please stay tuned till the end when all will be revealed. I've had to stay in bed lately because I was ill and contagious. So I carried on with my big cable sweater project and I absolutely realise how lucky I am that I can knit and I can do things that don't involve moving around and expending lots of energy uh, because certainly the time I had to spend in my bedroom, because I'm not the only person in my house, um, would have been very tedious had I not had things to do. So as well as reading, because I like reading my book, I was knitting. So this is when I started feeling a little bit better and I'm carrying on with my big extra large sized cable sweater that I'm knitting for a school friend. It's coming on nicely because I'm knitting it in the round it doesn't look as though I'm making very much progress but if I'd have been knitting one part of it if, if I'd been knitting the front or the back I'd have done quite a lot by now but um, it's going nicely I'm enjoying it and taking my time. It's a long project, not a, a short one. So here it is. I absolutely love the way it's turning out. Ooh, let me just try and line it up properly because um, that's right, the waffle type panel goes at the front, right in the middle, and there's one at the back. And I've got some small cables and bigger cables on the sweater as I mentioned in a previous video. The actual rib was a little bit different because I had to do two rows of garter stitch uh, which will mean it won't pull in. Now whilst I've been doing that I also did a side project or at least I started one and this is I love a sleeveless pullover. I really do and this is um, how far I've done so far. It's got a cable in but it's a soft cable so it just looks like a twist and that goes right up the front panel and it actually I'm hoping it will look like knots all the way down the front and I'll talk about this later in the video when I'm using my own invention of a pattern from an app. Now the cable on the side project is soft normally cables stand out because you purl either side of them and they stand out and they're quite crisp but I wanted a soft cable in this pullover and I think I've achieved it. I've uh, had to stop actually because I've run out of my yarn I need to spin some more. I'll be spinning in the grease when I'm able to integrate with humanity again. Gloomy weather we're having at the moment as you can see a medieval bell tower you can see from my room. It strikes the time and so you know it's two o'clock in the afternoon at the moment when I'm filming. I've also been able to get stuck into some websites that I do. Any of you who followed my channel will know that I lost my job um, uh, in 2022, just before Christmas. So I've been building up some Etsy shops, but I actually decided to sell my vintage posters, reproduction vintage posters. I'm selling them on my jansrusticlife.com 
as well as digital downloads from gatonero.com and I'll link them below for you. It's I've needed to, to jazz them up for a long time and being ill in bed um, meant that I could do that. But I'm just having a quick break or a long break actually to knit a little bit more on my project. I'm feeling a lot better now. This is a couple of days after the previous part of the video where I was knitting and I've done a lot more of this cable sweater. There's my pattern with my green row markings. The red ones are from the side project but the actual printed pattern, uh, both sides of the paper are actually for the cable sweater. I have my pattern charts on my phone and I just screenshotted them from the pattern that was online and so it's very useful because it's quite it's a small thing to carry and I can always keep tabs on where I am in uh, my pattern, the scheme of the pattern. As you can see my love of stitch markers which keeps me um, able to f follow where I am exactly in the pattern because I mark off each pattern block with a stitch marker. I wish this sweater was for me. It's going to be really cosy and warm when it's finished. I'm quite jealous of my friend. I've just finished another round so I'll mark it on my scheme. Now, I wanted to talk to you about my side project. I couldn't find a pattern that I liked. I was going to do a crisp cable up the front, which would have meant purling either side, but I decided I wanted it soft. I found an app, which is called Knits That Fit, and this is the first time I've used it. I paid a lifetime subscription, I can't remember how much it was, about 17 euros, I can't remember, it wasn't a lot. And you can actually create your own patterns using this app. And I think I'm just bringing mine up here to show you. There, it does print out all the instructions, although it doesn't give the opportunity to do in the round from bottom up, but I'm just doing that anyway. You can, you put in your measurements, and you can save them and then you can decide the style of sweater, the fit, whether you want it a loose fit or a, or a, a tighter fit. It accounts for a pattern block, so my pattern block is so many stitches, about 22 stitches I think, so it will account for a pattern block that you have. And this is the first time I've used it, so what I will do is, when I finish, I shall let you know how I got on with it. So you can do cardigans, sleeveless pullovers. It gives you a picture of what you're making, and I wanted a sleeveless pullover with quite a wide neck, a round wide neck. And what could be simpler? The instructions are all there, but mine is just a basic, simple pattern. But I will let you know how I get on with this. If any of you have had any experience with knits that fit, please put them below. And there it is that I, I, mean, I am pleased so far. I think perhaps I could have done a deeper rib, but anyway, we'll see. Whilst I've been actually, it's funny isn't it, whilst I've been sick here in bed I've been thinking about a lot of things and how I haven't been able to find really decent clothes I like. I found a few thrifted items but I was searching for some summer trousers and some winter trousers and I just couldn't find any. So I've decided when I am able to, I'm going to clean up my sewing machine which I haven't used, gosh, properly for a lot of years. I used to make my children's clothes, so I made some pretty things. I didn't make anything for my son, unfortunately, because being the youngest, I then had three children and got very busy. 
but I did make some nice outfits for my daughters. And I've decided that I'm going to dust down my sewing machine and start sewing again. I need to start simple. And um, I think actually what I'm going to do is there's a couple of thrifted items that I have that need adjusting for size. I just need to take in a couple of things so that they will fit me better. Things that I actually like wearing, but I always think, oh no, this needs a dart here, or I need to just take it in a wee bit, and I, I'm really happy with this piece. So that's what I'm going to do. I am, um, again, from my sick bed while I've got my computer, and I apologize for the mess on my bed. It's become my workstation. I've got everything I need here <laughs> to work and to knit and so anyway the mess I apologize for if you can see it all there as I was about to say from my computer that I have with my new on the bed workstation I have been looking for discount fabrics because I do everything on discount I'm on a very tight budget so discount fabrics I found some dead stock fabrics on various websites around and some of them have a minimum quantity and at, at the start I don't want to spend a lot of money on fabrics just in case the whole idea does not work out for me but I've also found some fabric people sell their excess fabric on Vinted and there are some um, two or three meter pieces there so I'm also having a look on Vinted and I'm hoping to visit my mum in the near future so I shall have a look when I'm over in Britain to see if I can find anything at a lowish price just to start me off. So I feel quite excited actually and nervous too because um, it's a long time since I've done any sewing. I used to enjoy it an awful lot. Okay, well, enough of the big cable sweater and the moment you've all been waiting for is the reveal of my sleeveless fair isle woolly pulley. Well, here it is. As my yarn wasn't as fine as the yarn in the pattern, the actual pattern of mine was bigger and I had to cut some pieces out. But I'm thrilled with this. I like the way it looks. It's cosy. This is the first time I've worn it. And I already know it's going to be one of my favourites for the winter. Let me know what you think. I'm delighted with this. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because it will really help me a lot. Don't forget that notification bell to be the first to find out about my new videos when they're released. See you next time.